Greetings YouTubers, this is Alan B. May, and today I'm going to read a little bit from my upcoming book that's entitled, It's December 21st, 2012, Now What? In this book, the purpose is that on December 12th, 21st, 2012, uh, we really don't know what to expect. The Earth's a pretty big place, so if there is destruction in one place of the globe, chances are there will be a time delay before the destruction reaches the rest of the world, or that part where you are right now. So it's best to not be caught off guard. The end is coming. So I thought I'd come up with some hints that will help those who on that day find themselves still alive and wondering what they need to do. So this is a few, chap few paragraphs from my upcoming book. The day has finally come. The day the ancient, ancient Mayans prophesied about is here. The world has ended. It hasn't ended as you thought it would. You appear to be still alive. Your house is still intact. Your electricity is still on. Your phone is still working. You get up and look out the window. There is no traffic on the street, but you know this is not unusual. You live in an upper middle class neighborhood. At this time of day, everyone is normally at work. You know that the prophets were right. So despite appearances, the world has in fact ended. It's just that the cataclysm has not reached your street as yet. As you await your meeting with your maker, there are some important steps you need to take to prepare for the electromagnetic gravitational pulse forces which will shortly rip you apart limb from limb. First, you need to drink plenty of fluids. It is recommended that you drink at least 64 ounces of water. If you find this not possible, tr try it with a little bit of lemon. Second, you need to try to use the toilet. If you don't feel the urge to defecate now, still make the effort. Take something to read with you. Also, hot coffee or hot tea will help as well. Do not eat, I repeat, do not eat any solid food today. If your hunger becomes unbearable, drink more water. Do some stretching exercises. If you know yoga, perfect. It is not real important the proper routine or the proper technique. You just need to warm up your muscles and stretch and warm your tendons. You may need to do some running soon. Next, shower and dress. There's a possibility that you may be destined for heaven. Just to be on the safe side, dress warmly. The consensus of scientists is that the average temperature in heaven is under 50 degrees centigrade. 50 degrees Fahrenheit, excuse me. If instead you go to the other place, what you wear is really of no consequence. And finally, read the instructions in the first chapter of my new book, December 21st, 2012. What next? Thank you very much.